This production is brought to you by the University of Edinburgh. Welcome along. In this session, we're going to look at using functions in MATLAB. Now, functions are another type of M file, so similar to scripts. But when we execute a script, the variables that we define in the script exist in the current MATLAB workspace, so they can be accessed through other scripts and other functions. In a function, however, any variables that you define exist only within that function. So, for example, if you try and access them from the command window, you'll get an error because they don't exist in the current MATLAB workspace. They only exist within that function. So what we're going to do in this example is take our MyCircle script that we created in the last screencast and convert it into a function. So let's open it up from the current directory. And you see that it opens in the editor window. So in a function M file, the first line is the function definition line, and that goes at the top of the script. And the first thing that we put in it is the word function, and that just tells MATLAB that this is a function M file. Now we define the output arguments of our function. And in this case, the output arguments are the points on our circle, X and Y. So because there's more than one output argument, we need to use the square bracket notation, x, y. Now the name of our function, we will call that my circle fn for function. And then the input arguments to the function, which are enclosed in round brackets. And the only input argument we have is the radius of the circle. So that'll be R. Now, we'll just delete our mycircle.m comment, because that's no longer appropriate. And we'll change the word script to function. And we'll also modify the description slightly, because as we've already said, the output of our function is going to be the x and y points on the circle. We're also going to adjust our variable dictionary slightly so that we know what the input and output arguments of our function are. So r is an input and x and y are outputs. And theta is a local variable to this function. So the next change that we need to make to our script is to remove the input line because now our function will take in the value r and there's no need to prompt the user for it. So we can just delete that entire line from our function. And looking at the rest, that should all work fine. So we can now choose file, save as and we need to make sure we save our function with the same name that we used in the function definition line. So that's my circle underscore fn. Now we're ready to execute our function. And with functions, we can't just simply press the play button from the editor window. We need to call them from the command line. So we'll go into the command window and we'll basically use the same syntax as the function definition line. So we'll say that we want our outputs to go into x and y, and we're calling the function mycirclefn, and we're interested in plotting a circle of radius 2. So our input argument r is 2, and we press mm -hmm. enter. And we find MATLAB returns an error message. Now, if you look carefully, it's telling us that there's an error at line 15 of our function. So we'll click that. And it's saying that R is not defined at this line. And the reason R is not defined is that we've left the clear all command in our function. And what's happening is we are defining R as 2 in the command window. 
that when we execute our function, we're clearing that value before we use it. So we need to remove the clear all command from our function. We'll just save that again. Come back to the command window. Just use the up arrow key to get back the command. And now our function works as expected. This production is copyright, the University of Edinburgh.